guys, Marcos Yamaso Torregrosa. We have Sean Cox right here. Yamaso Jiu Jitsu in Sacramento, California. I've been getting a lot of hits recently on social media. People asking me to show me the standing wrist lock. The wrist lock, man, it's a small joint lock. A lot of people underutilize it. Some people, uh, you know, they, they look upon it favorably. Others, not so much. But it is a joint lock, and I think it's important to uh, start incorporating it into your game, especially because it's important to understand that having proper grips can be, you know, very good and, and productive for you, as well as having improper grips can be detrimental. So uh, well, let's talk here about the height of the grip here real quick. The Kazushi, or, the, or, the, or the, the positioning of his hand, right? The Kazushi is important. We wanna keep his hand right here, just above our pec, just below our clavicle, right above our pec, right? We don't want it too high. And what happens is, you know, if they grab too high, I open up my lapel a little bit. I try to pick up the lapel, and that allows for the hand to slide down a little bit, especially if they have really good, strong grips, okay? So what I like to do here first is I like to grab, okay? I love this grab here first. Why? Because when they try to counter grab, they're gonna to try to find a way to get inside on your collar. So I grab here, he tries to counter grab, and I can jockey his hand in and out with my elbow, right? And so what ends up happening is, I'm gonna switch the sides right here for you guys. What ends up happening is that when I grab, I'll jockey it out a little bit, and then I'll open up to invite their grip. Their counter grip comes to my collar right here, and they think that they're gonna get um, access to like a katagudum or something to that effect, and that's when the trap is set, right? So my right hand comes right here to the elbow, just around the tricep elbow area. And then what I do is as I pull this in, I'm trying to align his elbow here with my chest. As I pull this in, my left hand goes from the collar to the tricep, okay? And it's at this time that I make kind of like a shot, right? Because I don't want to just drive forward here. I drop my posture, shoot straight forward like this here, okay? And you'll see that his arm aligns right here with my body. And as I drive forward, it's going to start applying on this wrist. Now the wrist, there are two ways of making a wrist lock. It's down this direction. This one in particular is up, and that makes it really painful because a lot of people are very flexible in this direction. Very pliable, right? Uh, especially guys that are younger, they're very pliable there. But you can push in this direction, and I can assure you this does a lot of damage, okay? So he grabs again. Oh, I'm sorry, my apologies. We grab, we kind of jockey their hand out. We're looking, we're jockeying for position. I open up a little bit, he gets his counter grip. I grab the elbow right here, and now I pull in like this, boom. And as I pull in, I'm bringing my head onto the inside. That's another really important tip when I do this is that I don't like to have my head to the outside. If I keep my head to the outside, they can collar drag me now and they can start picking up on my leg, maybe even take me down. Not good, right? So I like to keep my head here on the inside. And by the time I change my posture and drive forward, it's done. It shouldn't get, ever get to the floor, right? This will do a lot of damage if you ever get to the floor. But let me just show you guys so that you guys kind of see what range of motion is. I come here and here, and I drive as if I'm driving my head in between the legs, and it's done. It's very hard to stop on their end, okay? Again, the wrist lock is, is uh, like most other joints, is very delicate. So make sure you guys are training this slowly with your partners, you know? No reason to go fast, you know, move slow, just make it perfect and precise. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please look us up. Sean Cox on, in, on Instagram, Yamasa Jiu Jitsu on Instagram, hit us up. And we are in Sacramento, California. If you guys are ever interested in coming to pay us a visit, hit us up on social media. We'd love to have you guys. Any questions, please put, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them in a punctual manner. Thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoy the technique. Us.